On today's episode, you're going to be hearing from a powerful female founder who's a scientist, a serial entrepreneur, and has built a pet healthcare company that's literally changing the game. They've got endorsements from Caesar Milan and Halle Berry, and they grew over 200% in 2020. Get ready, guys. It's Startup Wire. Hey there, and welcome to Startup Wire. If you're new to Startup Wire, welcome, we're glad you're here. Each and every single week, we're interviewing founders who are raising capital from investors just like you. We're gonna ask them the fun questions, the hard questions, the things that you wanna know to make a decision if you wanna be a part of this company. And at the end of the day, there'll be a link in their description down below, and you can decide if you wanna jump in and be a co-owner of this company. Hey there, my name is Chris Gravy. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Startup Wire. I was a lead investor on six deals in 2020 that all raised close to $10 million. I've analyzed hundreds and thousands of angel investing deals, and we're here today to help you learn from a brand new, exciting company. I'm gonna introduce you to a founder here in a second who is a serial entrepreneur, she's a scientist, and she's built a, health, a pet healthcare company that literally is changing the game. But before we bring in the CEO and founder, I wanna remind you that here today, we're having fun. This is entertainment. I am not a professional advisor financially. I want you to make sure that if you're going to invest your money, you seek guidance from the pros, okay? Make sure you're always seeking guidance and counsel from the pros. At the end of our time today, after we're done with all the questions, I'm going to share my thoughts, my feedback on how I think this raise is going to go, some of the wins that I think they have under their belt, and maybe some things that might trip them up along the way. We're going to have a ton of fun. We're so glad that you guys are here. All right, guys. Well, I'm excited to introduce you today to a female founder who's a scientist, a serial entrepreneur. Guys, I'm talking about Anya Skoda. Anya, welcome to Startup Wire. Hi. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, so glad you're here. All right, we've got a lot of ground to cover in a short period of time. So let's just jump in. What is Happy Bond and how did it get started? Happy Bond is a pet healthcare company that is uh, focusing on the whole health of your pet. We create nutrition, but we also give you knowledge about the health span, about body mind play, because it's important to move your pet and it's important to socialize your pet the same as us, stimulate their mind and feed them the right diet. So whole health approach with our nutrition as the core. And we're super fortunate to have partnered with some of the best dog influencers and celebrities they are because they believe in our product. But it all started way back actually with a very special bond to my dog, Tony. He was a skateboarding bulldog, um, passionate about that. Otherwise a very lazy breed as a bulldog. But he got arthritis in his shoulder and it was really depressed. And it just broke my heart seeing him that sad. And I was fortunate enough with my background in science that I could formulate something for him that brought him back in a week. And that is actually our first product that is patent pending uh, and helped so many more dogs after that. So when I saw Tony skating again, I realized that so many other dogs have that issue. So I founded the company to help more dogs and experience the same relief and happiness as me when I saw Tony being happy again. Nice. Now, who's who's that person with you? Is that one of your co-founders? Who's sitting right there next to you? Oh, yeah. He's the chief tasting officer, Fernando, and head of security. <laughs> I think he's got job security for a while. That is exciting. That's awesome. Well, let's talk about, um, you know, I mean, everyone experienced different things throughout 2020, different companies that I speak with. Some had a lot of struggles, some saw massive success. So let's talk about your journey. What happened for Happy Bond in 2020? And then after that, we'll talk about what's about to happen in 2021. Yeah, 2020 was a really, well, different year for everyone. Uh, for us, we really bootstrapped due to um, a lot of companies didn't get funded through that time. Uh, but we built a really great new website through the year and we grew over 200%, which is really great for a, a startup. We just started in 2019. Uh, and even if wholesale totally broke down because nobody had stores open, we still grew that much and quadrupled revenue from Q1 to Q4, got so many more subscribers and built out a website with a lot of knowledge and health span 
where you can go in and actually as a dog owner see what is the difference between a dog and a human what do they need and and how can we fix that in an easy way yeah that's really good you know before we get to 2021 i want to just take a second and talk about you know your brand 2019 it's you know fairly new but that kind of growth is pretty pretty amazing and pretty awesome and we're going to talk about your products also here in a second but you know, being that you're a scientist and so you can walk in and formulate your own stuff, that's kind of amazing. I, I definitely would not be able to do that for our little puppy we just got. But let's, you've gained some attention for some really well-known individuals for what you've created. I mean, there's something to be said that, a, you know, everyday consumer will walk in, they'll find your product and it helps their dog and they'll kind of spread the word. But there's some real notable people, specifically celebrities that have, endorse this product and gotten behind what you're doing and so i want you to take a second and share a little bit of what that's looked like for you yeah our first um person that supported the brand was mainly be really because he used the product and helped it helped his dog and that's caesar milan uh, is a very famous dog behaviorist um he his dog junior was on pain relief he tried everything and nothing worked. And I approached him with several attempts to get a meeting. And in the end, they gave up and said, okay, you can meet him. And I just had him try my product and he came back and said, my dog is, is running. I could take the pain reliever off. He said, that's it. I like, I wanna, I wanna help and endorse this because it really works. So it was really the product and it was very genuine how, how he tried it. And he's still feeding all his dogs with, with our, um, um, collagen powder uh, so that that was a really great partnership and it is great to have him on board as just being being the endorsement in the face because people trust him uh, even if I'm a scientist I'm not known and many people think they're veterinarian no more but um, to have him as a trusted source and someone that really speaks to people saying that this is working is, is really been a great great help for us and then the second one that we got last year, we um, actually signed a partnership agreement with Halle Berry to co-create uh, four products with her. And three are going to be launched next month, so we're really excited about. They are supplements. Um, we, we really focused on preventative um, with her products. They, um, they help digestion issues. They help to boost your immune system and they promote skin and coat health. Uh, and it's a co-creation. She has two really cute dogs uh, and all the products helped her. We tested them together. So she's amazing. And we're really fortunate that she's working with us. Yeah, that is that is amazing. Those are two names that uh, pretty much every household knows. And I imagine as a founder, it's kind of one of those things you go, wow, what a wild ride to have these two big powerhouses, especially someone who's trusted by like Caesar. I mean, like, for, with people's pets, I mean, there's been folks listening to him for years on what they should do and how they should treat their, their, you know, their, uh, their pets and their, you know, their loved, their loved baby fur baby children. So uh, it's really great to have that in the mix for you. So let's let's talk a little bit about. I mean, that traction's great. Let's talk about what the plans are for 2021. You saw 200 plus percent growth in 2020. And you know, here we are kind of in the middle of March at the time we're recording this. Uh, what's happened in 2021 and what do you see coming for the rest of this year? Yeah, so the uh, last year ended with an extreme um, uh, pickup in wholesale, which the whole year was kind of slow as due to COVID. Um, so this year we already have 422% growth just in wholesale from last year's um, quarter one. Uh, it's really amazing how it picked up all of a sudden. We like sold out. We had two inventory deliveries. They were gone in two days. We're just waiting for a next big one. So the, the traction has been amazing. And, and our customers have stayed through, true to us through this whole time because COVID does cause a lot of delays in shipment. And I'm, I'm sure even, even IKEA is uh, experiencing that. So it's not just us. Uh, but we're coping with it and, and everyone is staying with us because they, they really had these great results. So we're very loyal customer base as well. And this year is going to be super exciting for, for us because we're launching so many new products used in 
two different um, categories that we haven't entered yet. We in supplements, which is another skew with Halley is also supplements. Uh, but we also entering the dog food space, which is super exciting. And that's a big tag on to do. But we have amazing partners with us, strategic partners that are helping us in that. Um, and that we know that we will bring a really novelty into the pet food space, which is very exciting for us. And then we also entering another um, category, which I cannot really talk about yet. But that's another exciting partnership coming. Um, we're going to be on our first trade show exhibiting and so this year has been really kind of like the fruitation of what we planned 2020 and really worked hard on with establishing the partnerships, and developing the product. And this year is going to be the launch year. And that's why we're really excited to, to be part of this or have you part of be part of this journey. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I know you uh, shared with me, but you can't share with the with the folks, but you talk about partnerships with this new brand coming. Uh, man, I am, you know, Caesar and Hallie were really exciting. This one I think is just as exciting. So guys, you gotta stay tuned uh, to what's coming because when this news drops, I think you're gonna be really, really excited about it. So, you know, I'm listening to you and it's it can be a very it's a very different conversation than some of the other founders that I speak with. Some have this the same success and kind of growth that you had with with the stumbles along the way with 2020 and you know, you know, the whole production process and all the kind of the slowdown across the the world. But what's the thing that keeps you up at night? What's the thing as a founder and what you're doing you're going, you know, okay, every that answer is going to be very different for many people, but what's the thing for you that you go, okay, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I put my head on the pillow and I'm thinking about Happy Bond. This is the thing that keeps me up at night. Well, well, right now it's definitely inventory supply because we we have a positive problem because we cannot fulfill all the orders. Um, we just have to get more stock in. It sounds great, but it's really a headache because you want to be able to give it to everyone. And, and especially when it comes to the dog's health, like for me, it's like seeing those pet owners that say, I need this, I'm running out. My dog cannot be without it for a day. And I don't want them to be without it because I know it works. So that's kind of right now the challenge, which is probably a positive challenge, but it shouldn't happen. So we just have um, learned from that, that we have to plan ahead. And that um, was also partly due to funding that we couldn't um, upfront as much as we needed to. So all this is um, solving. And, and then of course the brand, you know, you want to build a brand and you want it to be um, recognized in the way that you thinking. So I think there's a lot of challenges on how to communicate that, right? You know, how do people see your brand? And I want it to be the way I'm imagining it. So that these two things are kind of the, the challenging that I'm, I'm, I'm taking my sleep. Night. Yeah, yes. right. <laughs> Well, you know, I actually want to say when I was doing research and kind of looking up Happy Bond, I really like your branding. I think it's very clean. I think it's very, you know, I think it hits the market, that the target that I imagine from a customer that you're going after. It really, really is great. So let's talk about, um, let's get into some numbers here. So let's first talk TAM. For those of you watching this, you may be first time, total addressable market is what I'm saying here. I mean, we know how big the pet space is, but Give me a little bit of clarity from, from what you're staring at and what you're looking at in the space that you're in. Yeah, so actually 2020 was a huge year for the pet space because they were they were projecting a 96 billion um, growth or market and it turned out to be 100. So it really grew faster than anyone thought because if you follow it with COVID, um, the adoption rate went up 60%. It's like crazy, everyone adopted a pet, which is very natural because they really helped us through those challenging times with their, uh, you know, the um, the beneficial emotional benefits you get from having a pet that helps you um, cope with all these challenges that we had. So that was one part that it grew. But now the pet industry is really big, but nutrition and pet health is a big part of it. And if you just look at numbers of treats uh, and supplement, they're around 20, 25 billion markets each of them and then you have the pet food space which is around 39 to 40 which is a really big piece of this whole market uh, so i i believe since we're tackling all these three we have a really huge market to address uh, with pet owners and 
And if you then look at trends, you know, everyone wants to prevent to keep their pet as healthy as possible and not wait until they're actually sick. So it's the same same idea as, as um, us humans with eating better, moving, like all this health trends that also really came out of 2020 because people were just going crazy at home. What are we going to do? But then realize like we can work out from home. We can go running and we can eat good. We can cook. So all these backwards, like that's how it all started, is going back to the same as for the dogs. Many people started to cook for their pets and they looked up like, how can I prevent them from actually getting a joint issue? And that's why we launched last year too, the three different SKUs in age. So it's puppy, adult and senior, because we want them to grow right, to maintain their joint health and then restore it when they get older. So if you, you know, if you're looking at your new puppy that is two years old it's not too early to start something like that and and that's when i add that on with the with the um uh, preventative that is also one reason why we really like the partnership with Halle berry because her company respin is built on like respin your life change it you know it's in your hands and that's always what you can say it's the same with the dog your body is actually your back so you you better treat it right and the same with your pets well, my family brought a puppy into into our world in 2020, so we were we were part of that extra, you know, however many billions that came in, we contributed to that piece of the pie. So let's talk about your numbers, projections wise. What are you looking at here? What are you seeing? You know, I know it's it's projections are constantly changing. You know, you sounds like in your scenario, it's you know, supply demand situation. If you got the stuff on the shelf, the projections are gonna go up. If you mm -hmm. have to wait and supply chain slow, then then that might hinder you. Well, from a projections perspective, what are you looking at? What do you, what do you think is gonna happen here in the next year or two? Yeah, so this year we're definitely gonna tackle the million uh, in revenue, if not over, and then make a big jump in 2022 with all these products out. As we thinking of launching the pet food quite late this year, uh, I think it will really kick in in 2022, where we are looking to uh, get up to four to five million in revenue. So these two numbers are kind of our ballpark to hit. Uh, and yes, there are many variants. I mean, do you get that wholesale account or not? Do you Is your marketing working the way it is when you scale? But the, so far, we, we did our mistakes and we're ready for, for really going big. That's great. So let's let's talk about marketing for a spec for a second. Are you are you currently marketing or is it in-house, out-house? What, what does it look like? LTV's lifetime value of a customer. What is what are, what are you kind of learning there in the marketing side of things? Yeah, so we do have marketing. Uh, we have it outsourced to an agency for paid media. We also um, bank on PR and um, brand recognition. So we do a lot of events and other things that or when it's possible again so <laughs> we did virtual things uh to get our brand out there so we think it's a whole package not just paid media and and quickly sell products because we want people to stay around and that's the ltv for for us we're very um conservative in calculating it just for six months even though we see that everyone um we got uh stays longer but the six months ltv is about 210 dollars in average and um if you look at our paid media, we have a four times ROI on Facebook, 10 times on Google right now, even though I know when you scale, that can change, but it's really positive. Uh, the CAC is below 20, which makes every first purchase already profitable for us because we have over 78% um, profit margin on the products that we have right now. So it's really um, number of, Numbers wise, our agency is now ready to scale. We have experienced partners on board that know the pet space, um, that actually worked with another brand um, that uh, one of our celebrities is involved with. So they, they already tackle that audience. So it's much easier to have someone that, that knows the industry because the pet industry is quite different. Yeah, I've, I've never dipped my toe into that water before. And for anybody who's listening, we, I mean, hopefully some of those numbers and those, you know, you, you understand what, what's being said here. But a CAC is a customer acquisition cost. It's how much it costs a founder 
to acquire that customer and then a lifetime value kind of shows you like, all right, if it costs me $40, then I have a $200 plus lifetime value. You can see that that math uh, works and it can scale quite nicely. So there may be some of you watching that this is the first time you ever heard that term. So, uh, you know, you're welcome. A little education there for you. Okay, let's let's take a second. We're getting ready to get dive into our, our piece here where we're gonna do some rapid fire questions at you. So that those will be really fun. But um, I wanna talk about exit. I mean, everyone who, you just shared about the numbers, where you're planning to go with numbers, and every investor goes, what's the long game, right? You've got retail investors right now watching this. Anybody, you know, there's people here today that could invest in your company. What's the minimum amount of money someone can invest in your company? Oh, well, that's the great part about this. Um, we fund our crowdfunding, it's $100. So, and then you'll be a part owner. Yeah, so for, for so there's someone watching here right now who, who might say, hey, you know what? I want to be a co-owner for a hundred bucks. That sounds really great. And there may be somebody watching here that goes, I want to drop a hundred thousand dollars. So no matter where you are on that spectrum, if it's a hundred or if it's a hundred thousand, everybody wants to know what is the end game? And I know founders don't always know what that is, but they have a pretty good idea of, of what their plan is, where they go, and maybe what they see coming in the future. So. I know it's a, always kind of a touchy subject, but exit. What's your thought process? What's your plan there for today? Yeah, well, that's it is hard to say. Um, I'll just give you my dream scenario uh, because there are very big companies in the pet space that kind of dominated this um, for, for many, many years, and they are looking to acquire startups that that they see a potential in. So. I do think that when we grow, there is going to be that opportunity and there has to be the decision made if it's smart to take it or not and fight against such a big company. Um, my dream would be that we will be acquired one day at the right time just to, to join forces with someone that can have us get that reach in the market uh, and help more dogs with um, us staying on board to defend that vision and stay true to what we stand for. That would be the dream scenario, which is probably not always possible, but. Hey, you start with the dream, right? And you, and you work yeah. towards it, so that's really cool. All right, well, here's the deal. You're watching this right now. We're getting ready to get into our rapid fire session. What are your thoughts? What are your comments down below? Are you loving Happy Bond? What you're hearing right here, guys. There's links down below. You can learn about Happy Bond. Uh, go buy products for their company. And then ultimately, if you want to invest in what they're doing and be co-owner of this company, the link is down below in the description as well. So we're getting ready to jump into our rapid fire questions. Anya, are you ready? I hope so. <laughs> Let's see. All right, first question. It's going to be painless for this first one. Give me your favorite founder. Uh, it's Anne Wojcinski from 23andMe. Nice. Okay, love it. All right, what's the plan for the raise? What are you going to do with these funds? Oh, mainly push marketing to get more dogs happy and uh, inventory. Gotcha. Tell me about your biggest mistake that you've made? Well, there are many, but the, I would say in the journey, not trusting myself and listening to others, kind of what women have, imposter syndrome. Like, I'm not good enough for that. But in the end, you should trust yourself. No better. I love that. I love that. All right. Um, what, what about, what advice would you give to other founders who are looking to raise capital and regulation crowdfunding? Well, well, if you started your own company, you're passionate about it and ready to to uh, challenge all these things every day, but never give up. There's always a new day. There's always a new opportunity when you think this is the end of the road. It's not. Uh, and I think that's like really not give up and stay true to yourself and try to, to go through it. There will always be a new challenge, even if you raise the money. There's not like the problems are all solved. Yeah, that's good. Okay, well, uh, why did you pick regulation crowdfunding to raise capital for your company? Well, that's simple. If you look at our customers and the dogs, I wanted to have all pet parents and dog owners to be able to be part of this and to have them being our ambassadors and cheerleaders because they love our products. And I think it's the best way to build a company with people that believe in the brand and not just looking at how much uh, revenue you have they they of course it will grow but they should believe in us and the mission and see that 
you know, their pet parents. Pet parents. That's <laughs> I, I, when I went to the, you know, I took my 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 son, my dog, my puppy. I've got five kids, so I have to I have to translate. Six. I have a sixth kid now, and people were like, "No, no, you're a you're a dad of a dog." I'm like, "Okay." Let's let's add to the chaos. So I, the pet parents, I, I like that one. I say that. All right, and lastly, give me some vision. You're the you're the chief visioneer of this thing. Uh, you talk about dreams from an exit perspective. Give me the vision of what's about to go down for Happy Bond and what you see coming around the corner. Well, if we get everything we want through with all these product launches, we will keep our dogs healthier and happier for a longer time. But in general, I want to bring transparency in the pet space too. There's no regulation. People can claim anything they want. And if you are pet parents and you're new to this, you go to a store, you're totally overwhelmed what to pick. So I want to empower pet parents to make the right decision with our educational part on, on the website and blogs, but also you know transparency and in ingredients. I'm going to tell everyone what's in it from, from everything. Like nothing is hidden. And I think it's important for them to understand it because many of the big companies don't and they have, they're very innovative with covering up what is in there. So in order to keep those great animals that give us all this joy and emotional support and, and to be honest, they have more jobs now than ever. And they are one of the only species next to humans that are in every corner of the world. So in order to keep them healthy and happy, we have to give back and treat them the right way. Well, I can tell you're passionate about this. That you you birthed a company not just to make money, but to actually make change, and that's that's a special thing. And so, uh, it sounds like you still are holding on to that, and you're you're building that. So that's really really exciting. All right, guys. Hey, look. Here's the deal. Uh, we're gonna come back in a second. I want you to watch this video about Happy Bond, and then out of that video, I'm gonna share my thoughts on where I think they're where they have the potential to win big, and maybe some of the pitfalls along the way. So check out this video. You know, as a good pet parent, and especially you know having somebody like Junior who's very very active, I pretty much have tried every single thing in the market, every supplement that will help me help my dogs join you know, keep him live longer and happier. But this is the only thing that has worked for me. This is the only thing that has worked for Junior. So I'm very, very proud to tell you, very, very happy to tell you that you can make your dog happy again by using the supplement. So I 100% support this. I mean, I love to see what's happening with Happy Bond. I think you've built something really, really special. And I always like to just tell founders, first off, congratulations on what you've done, what you've built, that you've gotten to this part, because there's so many people that might have had a similar vision or want to build something for their pet that just never made it to this, this moment in time. So congratulations on where you've gotten. So here's where I'm sitting as I look at Happy Bond and kind of survey the land. And I mean, did some research on you guys. I mean, one, first and foremost, I think you've created something that's really, really Really special and I think one like I said coming from your passion your drive and you're a serial founder I think you've got a lot of really exciting things lined up for you for some really big growth I mean you saw the growth of 210 percent uh, in 2020 and even what you've seen this first quarter I mean look for anybody who's an angel investor out there listening to those kind of numbers those are really really exciting I think the piece that's gonna be the hardest is something that a couple of pieces you talked about it keeping inventory in stock I mean keeping inventory in stock and trying to manage inventory if, if no one's ever done retail before it can be a really really hard game to kind of go okay we just got a wholesale order but we got to save back these bottles over here we've got this product over here and so um, I think navigating that logistically as you scale and grow will be a big one and then ultimately like you mentioned it on the call um, there's giants in the space and they maybe aren't as focused on the health of the animal versus more profit side of things and so um, they can slap some things on labels like you said and be deceptive but i think you're going up against those giants now i don't think you're afraid to be a giant slayer i don't think you're afraid to to go in there but i think you know that there's definitely a mountain to climb on the other side of what you're looking at ultimately i think you have a great company i think you're poised in a really great spot and i'm excited to see what the future looks like for happy bond 
All right, as our time comes to a close here, guys, we want to hear your comments. What do you think of Happy Bond? Do you have a pet in your life that you think this product would serve and you like? And then, hey, from an investor perspective, what questions do you have? What are you asking? And then everything you need to know is going to be down in the description down below. We'll have all the links down there that you can go learn about Happy Bond and also learn if you would like to invest in Happy Bond as well. But before we wrap here, Anya, what would you like to say to the potential co-owners who could invest in your company who are watching right now? Well, we would love to welcome you on board, me and Fernando, and be a co-owner uh, and be part of this journey because we're really about to grow big and we want to be a part of a community uh, and, and you should be a part of our company. I think I really welcome you to join us because this is going to be really exciting. Love it. Well, again, Anya, thanks so much for being here. Guys, again, all the links are down below. If you want to learn how to invest, learn more about their company, see all the terms of their offering, it's just down below in that link. Just click there below. And if you're not subscribed to Startup Wire, click that button, subscribe, and get to see amazing interviews just like this one right here. And we've got trainings on the channel that can help you become more educated, more informed, and a stronger angel investor. Well, as always, thank you so much for tuning in this time, guys. We're going to catch you next time on Startup Wire.